hey there beautiful thank you so much for clicking my video so in today's video i have another wig show and tell and it's from hermosa hair i'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig their direct store and their social media links in the description box if you are interested with the wig you get a pair of eyelashes two wig caps and a elastic band that you can sew and insert if you would like an extra snug fit and the wig comes in this clear plastic baggie Here is a close-up of what inside of the wig looks like. It comes with a 13 by 4 parting space. Behind the parting space, you get three combs. You get another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. As for the cap material, it is a stretch fit material. And the lace, they say is HD lace. It is a very lightly tinted to brown. It's still coming off light on my skin. But I'm going to try my best to tint it to my skin color. And this is what the wig looks like straight out of the package. It is 26 inches. The hair density is 220%. As for the hair color, I would say it's a natural black and the hair texture feels silky. The hair curl pattern is deep wave. Here is a close up on the hairline. The hairline comes lightly, lightly pre-plucked, but the knots do not come bleached. And as for baby hairs, you get a few baby hairs on the hairline. I think it's mostly by the forehead though. It's not all over the hairline. I washed the wig and I left it to air dry overnight and this is what it looks like the next day. With this wig, I'm going to keep the styling very simple so it can be beginner friendly. I'm just going to do a right side part. After I put my parting space, the top is looking a little humpy. So I'm going in with my and it's hot comb and the temperature setting that I have it on is 20. And I'm just pressing down the roots of the hairline and by the parting space. Now I am going in with the Nair OB Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. This is the product I'm going to use to define the curls. This leaves the curls feeling soft, but also looking defined, and it doesn't have a hard hold on the curls. Now that I'm all done defining the curls, this is how it looks in the end. I'm going to leave it overnight to air dry, but before I do, I'm cutting off the extra lace in the front. I'm going in with eyebrow scissors. So I'm just taking the scissors and cutting right along the hairline. Be careful to not cut into the hairline because that will, you know, mess up the shape of the hairline and also cause shedding. And I'm cutting in little zigzag motions. After I cut off the extra lace, I decided I wanted some baby hair. So I just took out some swoops by the temple and by the ear tab to make like a little sideburn baby hair. So this is what the wig looks like the next day. Fully dried and the curls look so nice. I can't wait to put it on. Underneath the lace, I applied some makeup powder, but only to the spots I'll be showing. So that's the parting space and the hairline. Right there in the back is where I hooked my adjustable straps. Underneath, I'm going in with a brown stocking cap.
For this wig show and tell, I would like to spray down the air tab. So I'm going in with this bed head hard head spray. And I'm just going to spray one layer of this on top of the lace by like the air tab up to my temple. Now I'm going in with the blow dryer on the warm setting and I'm just going to blow dry it until it's completely dry. I didn't put any spray on the forehead. The lace is just sitting on my forehead, as you guys can see. And the lace doesn't blend in too bad with my skin. So you can rock it glueless. I would just recommend spraying down the air tabs, or you can even insert um, your own elastic band. So now I'm going to go in with that Nair OB Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion again and use that to style my baby hairs. But I'm cutting down the baby hairs because they're a little too long for my liking. This was the powder I used underneath the lace, which is Maybelline Fit Me Pad in the shade 360. Now I'm going to apply some of this powder to the hairline. This is going to help hide the knots on the lace, especially if you don't want to go in and bleach it. But also help the parting space look a little bit more like scalp. And I'm going to apply a little bit on the lace of the hairline as well. All right, love, right here is my end results and I wanted to keep the install beginner friendly. I get a lot of comments saying how some of you are not good at bleaching knots or plucking the hairline and you want to see me do more installs with me working with wig straight out the box. So the only thing I really did that I hope some of you won't mind doing is washing the wig. Plus, like I said before, this is a wig show and tell for anybody that's curious on what this wig looks like from the Hermosa Hair website. I will not be doing a wig update on this unit. So again, the length of this wig is 26 inches. This is Hermosa Hair Deep Wave. 13 by 4 HD frontal lace wig. The hair density is 220%. You can get a lower density if it's too heavy for your liking and the cap size is medium. I do believe it only come in one cap size. My hair circumference is 22 inches. If you have a bigger head like 23 or 24 inches, I honestly believe you're in for the clear. I have a lot of stretch cap room left in there. As for a smaller head, I would recommend crisscrossing the adjustable straps or even inserting your own elastic band but then you might have all that space in the back so then i also recommend like pinning down the back so it's not so big and bulky as well on their website it states that this is a 100 percent virgin hair wig from a donor it can be dyed or bleached to a level 27 so if you want you can go in and put some black hair dye on it because a lot of people don't like you know natural black hair or if you want to lift it up a few levels, you could lift it up to a level number 27, which is like more of a honey blonde. I'm not sure if it could be lifted to 613. I probably wouldn't recommend aiming for that. 
I will keep it like level 27, like they said. Anyway, when I was styling the wig, I got zero tangling, no tangles at all. Shedding was super duper low. And I know that's because I didn't go in and pluck the hairline like I always do. Like shedding was very low to the point. I didn't even have to show it on camera. I only got like about oh three four to five strands no more than five strands of shedding let's put the hair in the back my tracks isn't showing you can't see my wig cap so that is a plus the curl pattern on this wig is gorgeous this hair is very long and thick i also really like how the ends have a nice blunt healthy cut the lace on this wig is soft and blendable once you get it to match your skin tone. The hairline on this wig have a nice shape to it. And what I mean by that is even though the hairline is not overly plucked, it still looks a little bit realistic. It doesn't have a square shape hairline like a lot of other wigs out there. The other four inches of parting space going towards the back is nice as well in my opinion. It's a super cute wig. The only thing is I would love the hairline to be plucked a little bit more to my liking, but I'm keeping it beginner friendly. You can always go in and pluck the hairline, even bleach the knots as well if you want. Once I cut the extra lace in the front, I do not go in and pluck the hairline again, so it is what it is. So this was a very easy install for me. I hope this video helps someone out on their next wig choice. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on the wig as well. Subscribe if you would like more wig reviews and wig show and tells. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your day, beautiful. I'll see you guys later.